This video is brought to you by CellCashier.com. If you're trying to upgrade to the new generation iPhones or the new S21 Ultra and you have an iPhone, CellCashier will actually directly buy your used phone at a relatively competitive price point. It's simple, fast, and secure. Check out the description for more details. What is up folks, how's it going this watch? Hope you guys are all doing well. And today we're gonna to be doing a direct head-to-head -head battery life comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra versus the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now we're also gonna be taking a look at the S21 Ultra's performance compared to the Note 20 Ultra that we had just a few months back. And we typically like to do two tests to evaluate battery life on our smartphones. One is uh, playing a video on loop using the VLC app 50% brightness in airplane mode, simply see how how long the battery lasts and the other test involves automating the task of cycling through popular apps that you're going to use on a day-to-day -day basis using the tasker app on the android platform and the shortcuts app on the ios platform essentially with the app cycling test we're going to run through those different applications on a continuous loop until the battery life dies now keep in mind that all these tests are done in a very controlled condition where we keep all the variables to a minimum in order to get uh, consistent results from smartphone to smartphone smartphone to have a more uh, fair comparison. Obviously, real life battery life will be determined by your own usage profile, what applications you're going to use, uh, whether you have the screen on or off frequently or infrequently, and a whole bunch of other variables. But in this control manner, we can again have a more direct comparison. But first, let's talk about the actual capacity of the battery life in all of these smartphones. So the S21 Ultra has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. That's about 500 milliamp hours more than the Note 20 Ultra at 4,500 milliamp hours and uh, definitely a lot bigger battery than the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which has 3,687 milliamp hour battery. Now, in terms of the charging parameters, all three of these smartphones have fast, wired, and wireless charging capabilities, with the wireless Qi charging speeds being rated up to 15 watts. The Samsung smartphones also have reverse wireless charging capabilities up to four and a half watts, so you can actually charge other wireless charging devices on top of the phones themselves on the back, which is cool. And in terms of the wired fast charging speeds, we did our own independent tests using the uh, 20 watt Apple charger and the 24 5 watt Samsung charger which on the S21 actually doesn't come uh, with the phone like the new generation iPhone 12s in order to reduce shipping and environmental impacts and basically here results over here within a 30 minute time period the S21 Ultra charged up to 49% the Note 20 Ultra charged up to 52% and the iPhone 12 Pro Max charged the fastest at 56% using the 20 watt Apple charger which does make sense since it has the smallest battery. Now moving forward let's talk about the actual battery life performance results first starting with our video playback test. Again all we do is use the VLC app on both the iOS and Android platform play a HD video on a loop with 50% brightness airplane mode on and the total runtime on the S21 Ultra was super impressive at 21 hours and 11 minutes. Next was the Note 20 Ultra at just under 18 hours and the iPhone 12 Pro Max got a maximum runtime about 15 hours and 36 minutes. Now on our app cycling test, the S21 Ultra just beat out the iPhone by a small margin. It got a total runtime or screen time of about 14 hours and 59 minutes and uh, the uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max in the exact same scenario as much as possible got our total runtime about 14 hours 56 minutes and 13 hours 23 minutes was the total runtime on the Note 20 Ultra. Now you do have to keep in mind that this app cycling test is fairly demanding by nature. You're essentially running all of the different applications you're going to be using on a frequent basis on a continuous loop, never turning off the screen. And especially when you're using things like the camera app, which is super demanding on the battery life and the processor, it's definitely going to drain the battery quicker than usual. In fact, I remember doing the camera test on these phones and basically uh, using uh, the camera app on a continuous basis throughout the day, uh, both on the iPhone and on on the S21 Ultra, they barely lasted about eight hours before the battery life died from uh, fully charged. So definitely careful when you're using uh, the uh, camera phones specifically on uh, these devices and know that you're probably gonna be draining some battery life really quickly. But in terms of every data to use applications, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and things like that, and obviously text messaging, making phone calls, for the most part, you're gonna be well above 12 hours on all three of these devices. In terms of which one's best, 
specifically in terms of battery performance based on my experience uh, thus far i would say that the s21 ultra edges up the iphone 12 pro max in terms of day-to-day -day use i get on average between a half an hour to an hour more on the uh, samsung compared uh, to the iphone which is not a big margin and in most scenarios i get at least a day to a day and a half usage out of both those smartphones because my usage interval is about every two to three hours which is not as frequent as other users out there of course but in general i would definitely say that the s21 ultra has the better battery life uh, from the iphone 12 pro max now if you're interested in the camera comparison we have that video available for you in the description down below please make sure you have a post notifications turn on on our channel and subscribe and like the video if you haven't done so already one last word from our sponsor that made this video possible now if you're looking for a simple and fast way to get rid of your used iphone without dealing with ebay craigslist stuff like that check out sellcashier.com for years they've been purchasing iphones from all the major u.s carriers they currently only operate in the united states but you can simply select what type of phone you have select the memory capacity as well as the overall condition of your phone and you're going to get a competitive quote and if you're happy with that you can ship your iphone directly to them and get paid for more details visit sellcashier.com it's simple fast and secure